here we go. We got NVDA. It's a 10-minute chart. Quarterly earnings just came out. We're hitting 107 down here on that low. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and figure out what the news is on it. That's the headline event number on NVDA that had ran straight up to this 119 area, 120 area. And so we're going to find out. You can see the big move down and whatnot. I'm going to find the, um, the uh, actual report. And so they missed the number. There's no doubt about it we are right now we're coming off that 107 we're back to 110 this is that knee-jerk reaction we can tell you right now that the high was 117.65 and the low here was 107 on this 10-minute chart on NVDA earnings release we finally have the report NVIDIA beats by 15 cents they beat on revs they got Q1 revs above consensus. So you can clearly see the power of buying down here in the after hours when we're back up here to 114. Now, let's go through the report. NVIDIA is also going to issue upside guidance for Q1. Q1 revs of 1.9 plus 2% approximately to 1.86 and 1.93 billion excluding non-reoccurring items naturally versus the 1.8 cents billion capital IQ consensus estimate. For the first fiscal of 18, NVIDIA intends to return 1.25 billion to shareholders through ongoing quarterly cash dividends and share repurchases. Prior guidance was 1.2 billion. And we're right back up here off of that knee jerk they did give up that upside guidance. One thing that we do real well is we know how to hit these things and put limit orders and we get hit down here on these earning releases. That is the earning release announcement on the video. And so we will be putting that out. We got it. They gave upside guidance. So there's nothing wrong with these earnings on the video. This is just a knee jerk in the after hours market of what can happen going into the report, bam, they drop the bid, bam, then they run them back up, bam, and NVIDIA will be up big tomorrow, we're going to trade the options expiration Friday, the options are dollar increments, they're going to steal the premium out of the call, they're still going to steal the premium out of the put, and we're going to move in and take advantage of NVDA in the quarterly earnings.